gonna go on a city bus tour because it's one of the few things that's available in English, so then I'll actually know what I'm looking at for the rest of the couple days. Here we go. building. I'll figure out what that is and then I'll find out where I am and then it will all be good. Our city bus tour was a little bit aborted. We got about halfway through and then because it's one of the hop on hop off ones and so we decided to get off and go for some lunch and a view. Anna is my host and she's wonderful and very friendly. She speaks about as much English as I speak French. That's unfair. Her English is better than my French. <laughs> Still, it's been a lot of charades. We stopped for lunch, we're having a nice time and then we missed the bus and because it's a hop on and hop on one it only comes every hour so then we just ended up walking back through uh, Toulouse and she um, went home. <laughs> and so I'm just wandering around and the sun came out and I'm so delighted. And I put on sunscreen. Aren't you proud of me? I put on sunscreen. That's the name of the cathedral, so I now know where I am on the map. One of the churches in this town was built over like five centuries because people kept dying or there were wars and they ran out of money or whatever and so it just took them ages. That might be that one. There's enough weird like, and now we're gonna do this in this section that Maybe? I don't know, I don't know enough about architecture or history or French to be able to tell you. So, I also thought I would point out that I am perfectly comfortable here in tank top and shorts, which bodes ill for Spain. I'm very excited, I can't wait. We've seen lots of those people everywhere. One of the groups was chanting and another one was having a water fight. I imagine it's some sort of student protest thing. I don't quite know what's happening. As far as I can tell, that's like the city hall. Um, also this morning when I walked by, that square was empty and now it's all set up with tents. Very exciting times in Toulouse. I wish I could read the signs. I'm cheating right now. This is the uh, Couvent des Jacobines, but we're coming to a piano concert here tomorrow night and so I wanted to check it out in the day with tourists instead of with like locals who are dressed up fancy and are gonna look at me strangely when I'm gawking all about. So I'm here to gawk. This is pretty cool though. Look at it. <laughs> Buildings like this always make me want to sing. I just read a thing. They have things in English here. Mm -hmm. And it's the two circle ones that are the, the two stained glass windows that are left from the 14th century. That's pretty cool. It's so nice. The weather is so nice. <laughs> uh, not in Scotland. Like it's so hot that I can't actually stay here in the sun. I'm, I'm gonna... <sighs> Breeze is nice. I have sunscreen on. I've been drinking water. Um, I could just so sit in the shade, but there's where I want to see. Also being that close to water and not being in the water is torture. Yesterday when I first got here, Anne took me to the Tourist Information Center and we grabbed every pamphlet that also came in English, which has been very helpful. And so then I've been picking out the ones that look nice or are free or whatever and circling them on the tourist map. And so I no longer have the pamphlet and so I've been just walking to the circled things and I get there and I have no idea what I'm in for. Walk in and, oh, it's another church. So most of the churches are free. I'm clearly not taking the main routes between these tourist areas because I keep being alone in very cute small roads that, you know, if this were Canada, I would call an alley, but um, nope, not an alley. Also yesterday when I got here, I hadn't changed my clothes since I left Edinburgh. And so when I got dressed on Sunday, I got dressed for Edinburgh. And then I got here and it was hot and sunny and I was wearing entirely the wrong socks. Notre Dame de la Delbad. One of these Notre Dames is known for its organ, so maybe it's that one. Cool. Who knows? In my mind, it'll be that one. Of course, not helping me at all with the traffic is the fact that like half the streets seem to be one way. Anyway, I found a park. I'm not gonna get run over by a park. By a park? I'm not gonna get run over in a park. Also, it's definitely autumn. A leaf just fell right in front of my face. It's one garden. There's this bridge that goes over the road, and even the bridge has like the plants. This is cool. Oh, we're also on our way to another guard. I got a bit turned around in that park and I thought I was, anyway, almost walked off the map and got terribly lost. But I didn't. I didn't. I know better than to trust myself. Where we're staying right now, they have a beautiful home. And <laughs> I have my room. I'm so, so happy. In true European fashion, they built up. And between me and the kitchen, there are 50 stairs. <laughs> It's day two in Toulouse. I accidentally found this lovely chapel. I don't know what it's called. And there's also, I'm totally alone by the way, but there's also a movie 
by Kenneth Anger called Firework. I saw the second half and now it started over, that's how I know what it's called. As far as I can tell, the beginning has nothing to do with the end that I saw. This is the uh, Basilique Saint Cernan. There was a, a tour in English back there and the group was too small though for me to just like casually sneak in at the back. <laughs> Oh well. I've decided that they're definitely students and I keep passing other students who are drawing. <laughs> student town. So time's coming to an end here in Toulouse. It's been lovely. Some nice weather. Yeah. Hope you've had fun. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to find out where I go next. They're wakeboarding. I haven't seen people wakeboarding in so long. <laughs>